We are fortunate enough nowadays to have many different streaming platforms available to us, and all of them can offer something a bit different to anime studios. In the case of Netflix, production houses are able to create anime more wild and vicious than ever before. However, just because you're free to make something out of the ordinary doesn't always make it extraordinary. My name is Isla, and this is my review of Production IG's B, The Beginning. The premise of this show is like if someone had two wildly different scripts, dropped them on the floor and turned the results into a 12 episode mystery sci-fi thriller series and surprisingly, for the most part, it works. We've got two main protagonists. The first one is Keith Flick, a legendary detective who, after being out of the game due to his own personal tragedies, joins the Royal Police Force to track down a mysterious serial killer dubbed Killer B. Now that mystery is squashed almost within minutes of watching the opening episode as we find out it's our second protagonist, Koku, who is human by day and devil man by night. Not quite, but he is able to grow these sprawling wings out of his back and turn his arm into a sword because as you do. As a result, this splits our story in half. The cat and mouse game of Keith trying to find Killer B and the surreal supernatural nature of Koku and the mysteries that surround him. The real mystery though isn't in the characters, or even the story, but rather the setting. I found myself constantly asking, where are we? For all intents and purposes, it's set in a fictional city of Cremona, which you'd be mistaken in thinking was part of a fictitious world, except I think it's part of Earth, our Earth. In the second half, Keith mentions Thin Lizzy and Kate Bush. They have mobile phones and old-fashioned cars set in this sprawling landscape that looks like something you'd find in a fantasy show not in the 21st century, or even thereafter. After. We never see this world fleshed out or expanded on, which they may have done if it was a 24 episode series rather than 12. Regardless of where this is placed in the world, you can't help but be captivated by the attention to detail afforded to the animation, most notably in the action scenes. We witness a fair number of fights that look and sound excellent. The camera follows violence closely, giving us these fast-paced, detailed action sequences that really showcases what director Kazuto Nakazawa is capable of in the guided hands of production IG. His stamp is thoroughly pressed all over the seams of this series. His character designs are striking yet subtle. I love the cut of Keith's jaw, the nicks in his beard haphazardly shaved a mither to his dishevelled personality, the transformation changes in Koku as he goes from boy to devil, and the supporting cast have great design factors too, especially Kayla. She's best girl in my opinion. <laughs> Our supporting cast don't get as much attention to detail as I would have liked. Even our main girl Lily isn't as fleshed out as I wanted her to be. However, I love the contrasting personalities between her and Keith, even though deep down they're rather similar. This is delivered expertly by the voice actors and also the scripting in both the sub and the English dub. Why should I do that? For your own good. What is that supposed to mean? Now leave. Well, since we're both being so candid, no it's way I'd listen to you! However, no amount of great voice acting can take away from how confusing this show feels in its first half. You'll question the motives that drive Keith forward and try and place where the supernatural elements fit into the storyline. You are rewarded, though, with backstory aplenty in the second half that builds and builds to a dramatic conclusion. Overall, I really enjoyed Be The Beginning. Is it perfect? Not by any stretch of the imagination. But is it worth it? Well, for me, that's a yes, and for you, that'll depend on your own personal tastes. After all, it's filled with dark overtones underlaid with comedic jabs that cut through the tension delivered in a plot that is riddled with toe-curling violence. A series perfect for this modern age of anime that has been brought about by online streaming. And as I sign off this review, I am excited to say that this year truly feels like the beginning of the Netflix anime revolution. Someday I'll be gone to somewhere.